Okay, so this is my first ride video on the 2024 Beta 300 RR Race Edition. So not in the normal trails, just in some trails by my house. Just stuff that I normally ride, so I should know uh, pretty good, you know, what the comparison is to my XCW. So here we go. So first impression, I'm on a lot of rocks right now and uh, suspension feels great even though it's not even broken in. Uh, no issue. Feel a lot of bottom end on this bike. Feel a lot more torque. Feel like I can lift the front end up from, uh, from a lower RPM easier. Uh, get on that. Something a little more smooth. Like I said, I like the suspension compared to the XCW so far. Right now it's on the plus settings. I'm not even really sprung for my weight just yet. The engine feels engine feels strong. Feels strong. I mean the XCW is strong too, but it feels good. a bunch here the last couple of days. Everything's well. Yeah, this feels good. I like the way the suspension feels, at least on this stuff. I feel like you hit something you have confidence. Especially sharp stuff like that. Square edge. describe it. Good snap, but linear? Linear feeling? You know, just uh, like not, right? I, and I haven't messed with the power valve, but uh, not like a zip, you know, like a, like a, you know, old style power band hit on a two stroke. Just uh, very even, even delivery. Good. The chassis feels good. Now I'm not doing any balance stuff right now, so to speak, but it feels very good. Boot position, bar position, feels just like it should. The pegs may be in a little different position than uh, the XCW, like a little lower and a little more back. I don't know if that's reality or not. That's what I'm feeling right now. Front, front brake feels good. These are Nissan brakes, which uh, Brembo, to me, is gold standard, but these feel pretty good. New, new brakes. I like the gearing in this bike. So why is that? It's, uh, I have to check, but second gear feels a little taller. And uh, usually on my XDW I'm between second and third. And uh, the second being a little, a little uh, too much. And, uh, third being a little too high. So I'll have to look at uh, throttle cam because uh, I like a little more aggressive throttle cam and I feel like I got to turn this throttle a little too much and I probably need to change the position of it so that uh, turn it up a little so that I don't have to feel like I'm turning my wrist the whole way down. I know this isn't indicative of what I normally ride, but the stability I like. Being able to have some confidence in my suspension. Okay, we have a lot of rain. So let's see how we do here. Was 
the first real hill that I did. It feels good. Like I don't feel like I'm uh, putting my bot, my my arms in any unnatural or forced position. It feels natural to me, just with my uh, my arms and like the length they are. Like I feel like the turn ladies is great. Can't really tell if it's better or worse than uh, KTM at least riding it, but it's supposed to be better. I feel, like I feel like the bike is nimble. Maybe even a little more so than the KTM is. Wow, that felt good. Didn't want to be on that steep of a hill today, but it felt fantastic. I was a little puckered up at the top for no reason. But you can see how steep that hill was. Wow. The low end felt exceptional there. Just exceptional. I didn't have to fan the clutch. I was in uh, second climbing. You could see it's pretty steep. Other people have come up it, but those other people aren't me. Yeah, that felt good. Like it. That's the one thing when you ride trails that are unfamiliar, you do that by yourself. You can get up to the top on something like that and have a little ledge that you can't get up and then you're screwed. And I'm old. I will say, on this mud and in these ruts, the front feels just fine. Even when I'm braking, and that's like I said, it's a it's an M59. It's a pretty tried and proven tire, but I think more people ride it for motocross. On this washboard stuff, suspension feels great. I'm in the air off the top. Even with the big rocks. Front brake has a lot of stopping power. Wow. Real climb. That felt good. So you will stand on this bike because uh, the seat is like a washboard. It is hard as a rock. Those seats that I have on both of the KTMs are the factory ones, and they're like uh, memory foam. <laughs> feel like I could sleep on it. This bike, not so much. But I'll stand more.
address the little kick that I'm getting in the rebound. And uh, look out. So I think the next ride will be Mines and Meadows. For a conclusion to the beginning, I mean the beginning of my time with this bike. I really like the way that it feels initially. I think if time will tell and prove that it can have a similar level of durability to the KTMs, uh, I could be really happy on this bike. <laughs>